Hey guys, my name is Minkify, and uh, it's been a little while since I've uploaded a video, but uh, I thought I'd uh, bring uh, a new video today. Uh, a little bit of a review of the Celestron Powerseeker 50AZ. Um, I'm not going to make this too long-winded, but I'll give you a few pros and cons, um, and I'll let you know what I think, personally, being an amateur astronomer, and this also being my first telescope. Um, so, first of all, it is what it is, guys. I mean, despite the reviews you'll probably read online on Amazon, etc. Really, really good bit of kit. Now, we it being from Celestron, it's one of their budget range. Uh, I did get this for around about £30, I think. It was around about £30. So, really, with telescopes, as you probably know, you get what you pay for. Um, but the nice... Uh, added bonuses, you get quite a nice sturdy uh, stand with it, and you've got a few holes uh, in the bottom, what I'll show you later, that you can put your eyepieces in. Now, to start off with, with this telescope, it's not you're not going to be able to see uh, deep space uh, objects very well with this. Um, it's more focused probably towards closer to Earth objects, such as the Moon, and... I would say you do get some pretty, I have got some pretty good uh, glimpses of Jupiter, really good quality um, uh, images of, uh, well, not images, but uh, I've got some good views of, of, of Jupiter, and also Saturn as well, which is uh, out round about this time of year, um, over to the uh, west, uh, mid-sky. Um, now, first of all, what we've got, obviously, just a simple... Um, 50mm tube, uh, nothing major, um, as you can see, just enough to scoop up enough light, guys, it is a um, amateur telescope, but it was really cool about it, let me show you, here's obviously you get your erecting eyepiece there, and uh, Obviously, you use this down here just to uh, toggle the the zoom. You got your your, your stand. Uh, one thing I will <clears throat> one thing I will say is obviously this little joint here between the stand and the telescope is quite rickety. Um, but you can you could forgive that for the for the cheap price. Um, it can sometimes be a bit, bit difficult to use, but once you get to, once you get to get used to it, you know how to overcome those uh, minor issues. Um, but with this um, with this particular set, what I got was um, one of these T pieces, one of these pieces here. Um, that obviously you just place on like that in order to uh, so you can stand up and look at the uh, stars, etc. You get three uh, Celestron eye pieces. Um, this one with this particular um, telescope, which is a four mil, 
is next to useless. It's the, the telescope just can't gobble up, gobble up enough light in order to um, get this one to work very well. So I never use it. The best ones would be these two. You've got the 2.5 mil and you've got the 2 mil uh, eyepieces, uh, which are absolutely fantastic for glimpses of Jupiter and um, uh, Saturn, as well as the Moon as well. Uh, so they're fantastic. Uh, obviously, thirty pound. What do you want? That's the erecting eyepiece. So it's more or less a sniper scope. So you point this towards your target in the sky, and once you've got got an angle, all, all of the instru the the conditions are how to use this are in the instructions. Um, so you'll know what this is about. You just point it at your target, uh, and then you look for the eyepiece. And then with this, you've got a three times Barlow lens, which magnifies things by three to be used in conjunction with these eyepieces on the bottom there. And this one's a 1.5 times erecting eyepiece, which just makes things um, look the right way up. So guys, not a bad little telescope. I will uh, post some pictures of, um, of the moon that are taken through this telescope. Uh, pretty good quality. Obviously I haven't got a camera rack, but I'll show you later. But peace guys, uh, enjoy it.